Welcome to our system demo, tracking progress in multi-agent pathfinding. Multi-agent pathfinding, aka MacPath, is a combinatorial problem that asks us to compute collusion-free paths for teams of corporate agents. It also has many important and emerging industrial applications, such as automatic warehousing, video game, and drone-swarm coordination, and so on. Recently, with industrial interests continuing to grow, the number of publications on MapHave has exploded. Many work now appear across different venues and they have reported substantial important performance enhancements. To track the progress in this area, the community has developed standardized benchmarks, which cover a variety of popular application domains and synthetic test cases. Overall, there are 33 maps across 7 different domains, and each map contains 15 unique scenarios where each scenario consists of instances corresponding to a different number of agents. Unfortunately, the computational burden associated with running this benchmark is large, which means that most researchers attempt to only solve a limited subset of instances and only compare against a limited subset of potential competitors. Overall, given a map of solver, we don't have a clear picture of where this solver sits on the plateau frontier that defined by the state of the art. Given all the solver together, we don't have a clear picture of the overall progress in MapPath. To overcome those issues, we design a new web-based platform to help the community to keep tracking of progress on multi-agent pathfinding problems on existing benchmarks. In general, there are three types of algorithms that are often studied by the community. Those include the optimal algorithms, where the algorithm often starts from a lower bound of the optimal solution and progressively push the lower bound in order to find a solution that is profitably optimal and the bounded suboptimal algorithms, where the algorithm often explores the overbound and the feasible solution simultaneously in order to find the feasible solution within certain guarantees, and the unbounded suboptimal algorithms, where the only goal of the algorithm is to find feasible solutions. To cover all types of algorithms, the three important data we collect for each instance are the best lower bound value, best solution cost, and its concrete plan. To begin, we run four different leading optimal algorithms and two different unbounded suboptimal algorithms in order to map the current plateau frontier. The suboptimal algorithm LNS2 is a two-step algorithm that finds an initial solution and keeps improving the solution quality given the remaining computational time. This algorithm is also the winner of Flatline 2020 challenge. Another suboptimal algorithm, LACAMP, is a recent solver which can find a feasible solutions even for thousands of agents. Now, let's look at how our proposed system is able to help the community to track the progress. At the top level of the system, we display the progress on each map. Each row contains the basic features of the map, such as map name, size, and type. We also show the number of scenarios and instances available, and the percentage of the number of instances solved and closed for each map. The solved instance means we have recorded a feasible solution for this instance, the closed instance means we have not only received a feasible solution for this instance, but also recorded a lower bound value, and the gap in between has been closed, we prove the optimality. In addition, the result we collect can be downloaded for each map. Except the detail for each map, we also provide tools to automatically compare the different algorithms across different maps and domains. Our principal compare points are the number of instances solved, closed, and achieve the best lower bound and the best solution cost. If we look at the instant cost, we can see those optimal solver such as CBSH2RTC and CBSH2RTC CHBP, BCP MapF, and the latest CBS are able to close the instance for around 30%. But if we look at the instant solved, clearly LACAM and LNS2 are two winners which find solution on many more instances. However, if I look at the number of instances achieved the best solutions, interestingly, although the LACAM solved many of the instances, it does not achieve the best solution for most of the instances. Additionally, we also provide toys to visualize the progress on each map and each domain of the benchmark suit. From the domain chart, we show the percentage of the closed, solved, and unknown instance, where the unknown instance means no solver has reported a feasible solution yet. Clearly, Although we have attempted most of the set of our algorithms, no solver does well in maze maps and game maps. Although we have collected a solution for most of the instances, we are still far away from closing all instances. 
will show the progress for each map, where for games, the ORZ900D is the maps that have the worst performance. Now let's drill down to the next level and see what happened to this map. At the scenario level, there are 25 even scenarios and 25 random scenarios for each map. For each scenario, we show the number of instances and the progress. The results are downloadable for each scenario. Similarly, we also provide tools to compare different algorithms across different scenarios and also compare different algorithms across different number of agents. Now, if you look at the number of instances solved by each algorithm, where we see the optimal solver can scale up to no more than 181 agents. LLS2 is able to solve more instances than the optimal solvers, with the maximum improvement up to four times. But clearly, LACM can scale to many more agents. On the other hand, if we look at the number of instances that the different algorithm achieve the best solution, unsurprisingly, as we have seen before, LACM almost never achieved the best solution on those instances that are solved by the LNS2 and other solvers. Besides the comparison tool, we also have a visualization tool that monitors the progress of all algorithm together on different scenarios and on different number of agents. If we focus on the progress on different scenarios, interestingly, although we have seen there is a large proportion of instances now solved when the number of agents is large, all randomly generated scenarios have achieved 100%, and the unsolved instant only arises in evenly generated scenarios. This is mainly because of the way the scenarios are generated, and there are much greater number of agents in evenly generated scenarios. Let's go to the next level and see what exactly happened there. At the lowest instant level, we show the best lower bound and solution cost, as well as the algorithms that claim those results and the first claim date. Similarly, we can also track progress and compare algorithms on this level. If you look at the monitoring progress, it shows the suboptimality ratio between best known and lower bound and the solution cost with different number of agents on axis. Since most of the instances are solved by the LACAN, the suboptimality ratio is computed based on the trivial lower bound, which indicates the solved instance for LACAN is no more than around 40% worse than the optimal solution. Next, Let's use our visualization tool to see a particular instance and analyze why LACAM can solve this instance while others cannot. Let's look at the solution that contains 4,119 agents. Our system can visualize the best solution record for this instance. Let's zoom into a particular area and see what is happening here. As you can see, the feasible plan becomes very congested when the number of agents is large and their source and destination are far away. This also indicates planning algorithm needs to avoid many temporal obstacles. The combination of long paths and many temporal obstacles can result in exploding the size of the time domain, so the optimal algorithm can never finish planning. The LNS2 fails because it relies on the priority planning to find an initial solution, and in this case, the priority planning also fails to return a feasible solution. Fortunately, LNS2 is a two-step framework that can work with any algorithm that finds an initial solution. So one notable takeaway from our analysis will be combining LNS2 with LACAMP, where we can use LACAMP to quickly find an initial solution, and LNS to keep improving the solution quality given remaining computational time. Our system also includes features which allow other researchers to submit the result of their solvers and compare the algorithm with the set of ours in the system. Hopefully, with our new proposed system, we can help the community to keep tracking the progress on my path and lower the barrier of interest for new research on this topic.